Namaste. Uh, there was a request uh, to make a video on uh, what are the benefits of learning and practicing Reiki. Okay. So see what, what I am saying, learning and practicing. So if you just learn and do not practice self-healing every single day, it is not going to be of any use. So it is a commitment that you're going to do. So why should you commit to doing something every single day of your life? Is it worth? I always say, uh, that is from my life's experience. I learned Reiki in 1997. Okay? And I practice every single day self-healing. So I say that the best gift one can give to oneself is learning and practicing Reiki every single day. So uh, in this finite world, everything is going to go in a different state. Like, you know, you um, bought something and it gave you so much happiness. After six months, when you look at that, it's not giving you that amount of happiness. So whether it is materialistic things or any relationships, everything is going to change. Nothing remains constant. So in such a world, what I feel is Reiki is something which always remains exactly the same. Okay? You can depend on Reiki. Any situation in life when you encounter, uh, when you uh, start you know, showing the res uh, getting the results of Reiki in your life, you start developing the faith. So any situation comes, the thing that comes into your mind is, Reiki, please help me. And you know that the help will be right there in ways that you can't even imagine. Okay? So Reiki is, uh, I will say that majority of the people nowadays, it's like, uh, you know, they're living. But are they really living on so many tablets and this and that? And so it is not a healthy living. Majority of the people, if you look around, it's not a healthy living. And Reiki helps you to have a healthy living, first of all. Okay. So in today's world, everybody is after manifesting and achieving things. I want to get this, get that, you know. Majority of the waking time goes in that. How can I get this? How can I achieve this? How can I get more? So, you cannot relax. You're almost never relaxed if you look at that. You know, even during sleep, you're not relaxed. So, Reiki brings a deep relaxation that supports the body to release stress and tension. So, when a client comes to me for healing, if I'm giving a 40 minutes healing and the client is lying down, and it is 100% sure by the time I finish that healing, the client will be deep asleep. So that is the amount of relaxation it brings into the body and mind. So if possible, we'll just, uh, we will let the client sleep for at least 10 minutes so that they are just soaking up that relaxation, which is so rare in today's um, lifestyle. And then it promotes harmony and balance. You know, balance in any area of your life. So the right side and left side of brain. Usually we are using logical brain that is the left side. Hardly any time we are using right brain. We don't encourage uh, children to you know, do arts. We are so much after them to study, 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 study left brain. And actually if they are studying and then they get saturated. Ask them to draw on a paper something and the right brain is activated so this uh, reiki by doing reiki healing it balances the right and left side of the brain and um, it um, if there is an imbalance in the five elements of the body with which our body is made up it brings balance there it brings balance in the vata pitta kapha field so any area that means if you are uh, were in the habit of sleeping too much it brings down your sleeping time if you are not sleeping, then it will bring sleep. If you are a very angry person, it will bring calmness into you. And if you are too calm, you know, you don't respond or you react. Then some uh, of that quality will come into your mind. So it promotes harmony and balance. And then, see, whatever we do in our life, it is uh, for that energy is needed. 
So when people fall sick also, why they can't become all right? Because there is energy needed for that healing, which they are lacking at, the, at that moment in time. So when a client comes to me for healing, for the physical problems, so the Reiki will bring in more energy. And actually, um, even though we call ourselves Reiki healers, we are not healers. Nobody can heal anybody else. This is a very strong point. The only person who can heal is yourself. And we uh, give them more energy, okay, universal energy. And that person himself or herself is bringing about the healing using that energy. So if there are blocks in the, uh, you know, we know we have the seven chakras and other things. So if there are any energy blocks, by doing the Reiki healing every single day, it removes the blockages. So there is a free flow of energy in your body. And there's a natural harmony between your mind, body, and spirit. Then uh, one thing I want to make clear is Reiki does not prevent death. Death is something we decide at the time of our birth. As a soul, we decide. Okay. Rarely some souls have a choice of um, death, like, you know, two choices will be there and very, very rarely three choices. But majority don't have any choice. So the moment they have decided, okay, at this stage, I'm going to leave my body, that happens. But even in that case, if you do Reiki healing, usually people get scared you know, before death. They have the premonition and they, they're so scared for this transition. So Reiki calms them down. So I have seen, I've given to so many clients. So they bring their fathers and mothers they are in the, on the deathbed in the hospital or anywhere. So then I get the, the report later that they had a very calm and peaceful death. And the journey is not ending with the death. Okay. So Reiki helps in the further journey of that soul also. So if somebody is on the deathbed, Reiki healing is the best gift can, that can be given to that person. And then, uh, as I told you, nowadays everybody is on some medication, okay, some more other medication. And uh, so Reiki. If you can give Reiki to that tablet which you are taking, it energizes it and increases its effectiveness. And more importantly, it removes the side effects of that drug. I get some clients for taking some strong drugs which they are advised to take for you know, five months, six months like that. And the life is crippled. They cannot climb three, uh, three floors uh, where the, the working space is there. They have to stop in between and take breath, you know, so like that. So because of the side effects. And then they start taking Reiki healing. And they, they become so excited and, you know, they'll be calling me back and telling, Madam, today I didn't have to stop in between. I climbed all three stairs, all three floors of the building. So this is another thing. You know, if you have to take the tablets, give Reiki to the tablet so that it increases its effectiveness and reduces the side effects. And also any procedure also, if you have to do, you know, before that, because we can give Reiki to the future and past and all like that. So give to the, uh, give Reiki to that person who is, who has to undergo the procedures or operations. It really helps. And um, it removes uh, the toxins from the body. That's why we always insist when you are giving Reiki to somebody or you are receiving Reiki, it's very, very important to drink enough water so that the easy passage of these toxins through urine is made possible. And as I told you, for any healing, it supplies the universal healing energy to the body, which in the normal case, people cannot access this universal. There is no depth of energy around us. But after seven years of age, we lose our capacity to channel this energy ourselves. After seven years, children can. Okay, That's why we need to get an attunement for Reiki to get this energy and use it for our, um, whatever use we want it to. And then it increases the frequency of vibration in the body. So basically, if you 
come down to anything. You know, it is basically vibration that is running the world. So in this aspect, you cannot take a decision. You know, you have two choices in life. You just cannot. So the decision making becomes easy with Reiki. So you can step aside and view the situation as if it is happening to somebody else. Because when we get too much involved, we become blind to the possibilities or solutions. So with a re daily Reiki healing, it becomes very easy because it is increasing the vibration of your body and mind. So decision making becomes easy. <clears throat> and then it increases the body's natural ability to heal. Okay, nowadays we don't trust our body. Body is a very wonderful healing machine. Anything which the body, the which comes into your body, the body is totally capable of reversing it to the healthy state. But the fact that we don't believe in that, our belief is so strong that body cannot, unless we you know go for some procedure or take some tablets, the body cannot do anything. Actually, body can. So Reiki will enhance the body's natural ability to heal. And it strengthens the immune system. It vitalizes your body and soul. So I say uh, Reiki healing brings about healing in your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, social, economical, every field. Every field because it is basically vibration. And uh, so it balances the body's energies also. And sometimes the doubt comes, you know, I've given, uh, done Reiki for a long time. I'm scared that the, too much energy has come. No, it doesn't. Our body is um, absorbing energy that is needed for balancing and for anything that the body is uh, needing at that time, moment in time. So it absorbs only what is needed. There is no question of you know, absorbing too much energy and that creates problem. It, it just doesn't happen. And also it works with animals and plants. And even when you cook, give energy to that food, you know, and whoever is eating that, they will be energized with that Reiki, which has been passed on to that. And I have seen, because when I learned my kids were small, so there are some vegetables they don't like. So I, I will give Reiki to the food when I'm cooking and they'll be eating without any, prob any fuss or problem. So after many years, they asked me, where are you <laughs> giving Reiki to the food which you are eating? I told you, yes, of course, why not? You need that nutrition. So if you don't like because of the taste, use it. So you can use it for your kids. And uh, it gives absolute clarity to solve any problems. As I, as I told you, you can see it, you know, crystal clear. Okay, this is the problem. And the solution is always there. Before the problem comes, the solution is there in the universe. So because you're blinded by the complexity of the problem, you don't get to see the solution. So once you give Reiki, it becomes clear. So you can solve whatever problem comes into your life. You start seeing it as a challenge, no longer a problem. So you think, okay, universe thinks I can you know, solve this challenge. Okay, let me do that. So once your mind opens, the Reiki brings all the uh, solutions which are available and uh, your mind is having a clear vision and you can choose and do that and then it reduces pain you know uh, it has been seen I get uh, clients before surgeries okay so later the doctors because I am in the medical field um, the doctors are also my friends they they remark for this client during surgery the bleeding was very less and he needed much less painkillers there are also cases where they don't even need painkillers after big surgeries so they needed uh, less painkillers and the healing was very fast. This is very, uh, you know, what the doctors, the surgeons remark after the surgery is done. So, so I tell that any given point, any thing in life, Reiki is there to help you. There is nothing else that can replace Reiki. Absolutely nothing. I have not seen. If you have seen, just comment. I will try that also and see what happens. Okay. So these are benefits and it is so simple to do. So simple. That's why people think it is too simple. How can it be effective? When I learned, you know, there were some close people who told, you think you can stop uh, all the hospitals? <laughs> I told, no, no, no. Everybody is not going. Everybody doesn't have the faith. Still, there'll be people. Majority will be depending on hospitals and, uh, you know, uh, medicines and surgeries. But even those people can be helped through Reiki. 
So what are you waiting for? Give yourself the best gift of learning Reiki and doing uh, Reiki healing practice every single day. Namaste. Bye for now.